I just got off the phone with Dudley. Uh, I'm about halfway to uh, to Philadelphia. He's at home cracking the whip on the editing. Anyways, uh, talked to Tim briefly. For you guys that don't know Tim, uh, Matt and I both served with him in 1-3. Uh, Tim was a mortarman uh, with us, but Tim ended up uh, he ended up moving on to scout snipers. Uh, he took the end dock and did quite well for himself and, and moved along, as did uh, quite a few other infantry men back in the day. You would have seen Tim on our first season. Look, there's Donnelly. Hey, hey, hey. 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 What up? When we went down to that uh, cheesesteak, John's, I forget what it's called. Going to get some cheesesteaks. It's arguably the place you got to go when you're in Philly. Tim has five kids. So he's a busy son of a bitch. His wife Megan made meatballs. So uh, we got some meatballs, some Coors Light, some Crown to drink later. We'll do some good reminiscing. Keep promoting that idea of getting together with the guys you served with and uh, kind of policing your own, making sure everybody's taken care of. That's what we do here at Leatherneck Reconnect. We're getting close here. Tim's and my GPS says three minutes out. It looks like fucking Tim lives in the country. I thought he lived in Philly. Huh. You've arrived. Destination is on your left. Oh, Christ. Nice brick house. Huh. Well, let's see if I'm at the right house or not. Oh, here comes somebody. I see him. He's gonna jump me. Oh, looky there. Look at the bigness. What's up, buddy? How are you, buddy? This is Tilly. What's up, Tilly? Look hey, at you. Hi, Till. Look at you. Well, you're a big one. Of course, okay. of course, I got have I have to be recording, buddy. <laughs> oh, brother, good to see you. Good seeing you, man. How you doing? Good, good. Real Come good. on in. You see Uncle Mike? This is Uncle Mike. Daddy served with him. Why, in the hello? Room. Can you say hi? hi. Give him hi. a five, Drew. Now hi, give him a Drew. Pass. Drew, give him a pass. That yeah. a boy, that a Ma, boy. can you give him at least a high five? You know I'm how many old. years daddy lived with this guy? Like three. A lot. Yeah, as many as Drew's been alive. Where's mom? You shut this or leave it open? You can leave it open. We have to do our cheers, buddy. Oh. Semper Fi. Leather neck reconnect. Mm-hmm. So it's not bad. At least tastes like beer. Does it? Yeah. Here we are. Tim has this. Uh, Tim has this zip line here that runs from this tree all the way down to that tree. I guess he's believing that I need to be on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold on to the handles. The green. You might want to. Look at him rocking the platform and everything. Holy shit. Now hold on, when you get off, climb down slow, otherwise that thing will kick you right in the face. Oh yeah, see how that does it. Nice work. In the grill. Not bad, this is a, the family fun zone here at the Donnelly House. That's great. Wanna take it back up and you ride it or what? No, I'm good. <laughs> I think the way that I've always seen Leatherneck Reconnect is a way to join the brotherhood that we experience in the Marine Corps to help the other Marines that we know that have finished their time in, in service to let them know that that esprit de corps doesn't stop from the day we leave the corps till the day we die. You're always gonna have Marines that are your brothers that are gonna be there for you. And I think that what Leatherneck Reconnect does, it ensures that that tradition that the Marine Corps instilled in all of us carries on. And it shows that we're always there for each other. For me, that's what Leatherneck Reconnect's been all about. I think in a time when we see the rate of suicide among veterans. It's enough of a message and it lets guys know that there's people out there that care. It really is just a good way to let people know that they're not alone. I think the more you get out there, I think the more people you're gonna find that need some type of connection. We're all jarheads, we're all men, and sometimes we're reluctant to admit that we need, you know, just someone to reach out and say hi. 